Hey everyone, this is the tea and ready practice test for grade five. This is question currently number 25. Who knows what it'll be in the future? Laney put unit cubes together to make this rectangular prism. See this front section here is a rectangle and it's three-dimensional without a point, so it's a prism. Which two expressions can be used to determine the volume in cubic units of her prism? Now, when we talk about volume, that's a three-dimensional measure, which is important at, to a degree. That means, in this case, because it's a rectangle, the area of the rectangle is length times width. Our rectangle here, for instance, let's do the front shape. I'm just doing this. In case you're wondering what this is coming from. Okay, so... Same thing, right? So if I want to know how many individual squares are inside, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll have 12 units. But if I want to look at it in terms of like, well, how do I figure that out without counting them all? It's not a big deal when it's this small, but when it gets big, you don't want to count them all. Um, so I'd say, okay, well, the length is 4, and the width, which is this distance, is 3. So length times width, 4 times 3 equals 12. Ka-ching. That's where that comes from. That is one part of the volume formula. Area is a two-dimensional measure. See, we have length and we have width. Those are the dimensions. That's what it means. Like, it goes this direction, it goes this. Now, when you go to the movies and you see 3D, it's got an additional dimension. Uh, depth is what it's referred to there. You may see it as height, whatever. So, it's going to jump out at the screen. So, that's what this rectangular prism is doing. It starts back here and, like, jumps out at you. So, the formula for a volume, unlike area that has two dimensions, you have what's called big B, or area of the base, times the height. So the height here is just depth. And the big B here is the area of the base, which we already found, yay us. So when we're finding volume, essentially, so say we're finding it of a, like a cup. And you're going to have to lie to yourself, because my drawings do not look good. Um, if I have this cup... I'll figure out the area of the bottom to figure out how much water is in. I need to find out how much fills the bottom. And then, like I said, it looks terrible, but I get it. I'm just going to keep, re when you pour it in, it just keeps refilling the bottom over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until you get all the way to the top. So if I want to find out how much is in there, I need to find the area of the volume, or the area of the bottom. And then multiply it times how many times I have to do it, which is what the depth or the height is. So that's what this is. Now, to find out for this one, this is I'm going to turn it to purple because this is the question-specific version. The area of the base, which would be the area of the main shape, the shape in the front in this case, would just be 4 times 3 because 4 times 3. Now, the depth or the height, as they call it, is a little bit more complicated, but not even a little bit. The hardest part is if you have trouble seeing in three dimensions, which is why you should use your pencil to shade if you can. You will notice that if we're going to build blocks or whatever, this face would actually also consist of this set of groups here. These are just three-dimensional blocks. So if I'm going to do little, you know, the little blocks you use in preschool and stuff, not Lego, but the stuff you just kind of lay them on top of each other and they're cubes, that's this kind of box. So you have this top layer, and then underneath that layer, you have a second set, which is exactly the same size. So where I have, this is the yellow one up here, I have an exact match in a different color, in this case, just to show you that it's different. That's the exact same size. Spoiler alert, also 12 units, also 4 times 3. That's why it applies in both cases. Then I just have to multiply by the depth, which is, well, how many of those groups do you have? Well, I have from here to here is one, two units, or one, two colors. So I'd say times two. This would be four units. If it was centimeters, we said centimeters. Three units. Again, if it was feet, we'd say feet. And then units. Unit, unit, unit. 
I put unit and then to the third power, which is to say it's three dimensions, folks. If you're doing area here, unit, unit, it's 12 units squared because you only have two dimensions. You don't really need to know that for this. I'm just trying to push you ahead. What we can do is help ourselves later. Four times three times two is da 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 da, 24. Because 12 plus 12 is 24. So I'm looking for something that adds up to that amount. If it doesn't, you know it's not the right answer. So I can go ahead and do D easily. 4 times 3 times 2. It's 24. Great, right? What about 4 plus 3 plus 2? Well, first off, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It doesn't even come close to 24. Second of all, you don't use the numbers and add them together. There are multiple numbers of the four there. It's not just a one set of four. It's one, two, three sets of four. So you have to, if there are multiple sets, you have to multiply. This doesn't require you to multiply. So that's out. I mean, using the original numbers. Now, 6 plus 8 plus 12. Where could I get that? I could take a look. And you could always make the boxes if you want, but you don't necessarily have to. You can know that 8 and 12 is 20, plus 6 is 26. certainly doesn't get us to the 24 we're looking for. Um, where they're getting the 6, uh, they're getting the 6 because they're looking at this, and then the 8 is probably this top thing up here, um, and then the 12 is they did the front. So they're mixing genres. Instead of looking at it as, this whole front section, there's where the 12 is coming from. They also just look at the sides and like, well, we'll just add all those. The problem with that logic is this corner piece, this piece, and this piece are all the same block. When you do volumes, you're not looking at specific faces. You're looking at the whole block. So do yourself a favor and pencil in the layers when you first get started. Not so much you can't see the layers, but, you know, lightly pencil them. It'll make your life way easier. Um, so what about eight? 8 and 8. Where is that coming from? Well, if I do 8 plus 8 plus 8, I get 24. That's looking pretty good, right? Um, so what they're doing is they're looking at this set of 8. So really, this 8 is 4 times 2. Then they look at this set of 8 right here. Because again, if it's laying directly on top of it and they don't tell us otherwise, we can assume it's the exact same thing. So they have another orange one that's just yellow. And then they're looking at this. Well, how come they can add and still, so this is again 4 times 2, this is 4 times 2. How come they can add and get 8 where we talked before we had to multiply? Because they looked differently at how they assessed the numbers. Instead of just saying, okay, well, I only want to know from the edges and then how tall it is and then how deep it is. Then you have to multiply because you're only using one example of each group. So I'm not, when I say 4, I don't mean all this. What they've done, which is kind of smart, is they've added all these blocks up. They're just adding the blocks. So they say, okay, well, there's eight blocks on top, eight blocks in the middle, eight blocks on the bottom. Each block represents a three-dimensional figure, so they're covered. So this is actually eight units cubed because they're counting cubes and not faces. So 24 units cubed. So C is also a correct answer. E is a ginormous mess. What they're doing is trying to count the faces and multiply. That's not how it works. When you're m analyzing volume, look for three-dimensional figures only. The four makes sense because it's one, two, three, four three-dimensional blocks. The three makes sense because it's one, two, three-dimensional blocks, and the two makes sense because it's one, two, three-dimensional blocks. If I'm adding them together, you better be adding three-dimensional figures. I'm adding eight three-dimensional figures. But if you're just multiplying any random number and they're just single dimension, two dimensions, it does not work. So be smart. Find your layers. If they had said the equivalent of, okay, well, I have 12 plus 12, that would have been fine. That's a way to do it because it's a two-dimensional measure. They decided to do 8 and 8 and 8. That's fine. And the 4 times 3 times 2 is the most standard way to get the answer. So scratch on their paper a little bit. It'll make it way easier to see, and it'll get you the answer much faster.